one of the occasions, one of the reasons we're talking, I suppose, is that you just won the Pragnall Prize, uh, a prize for sort of lifetime services to Shakespeare. Uh, so it's a good moment to look at what you've done in Shakespeare over the years and, and whether you're thinking about it has changed. Because in a way, you have a kind of gap in your Shakespeare CV for some years. I mean, you know, between Cressida and Gertrude, um, um, an audio book of Hamlet, uh, and, you know, obviously uh, all kinds of other amazing roles, and Hedda Gardner and the Duchess of Malfi and little things like that. But um, no Lady Macbeth, uh, you know, no, no Countess of Roussillon yet, or, or you know, any of, or Pauline, no, no. any of, uh, uh, no Hermione. I mean, it, I, I hope we have these to look forward to. Well, it's, it's absolutely true what you say. And, and in fact, I feel a little bit, I felt a little bit sort of shy when this glorious Pregnant Prize, um, uh, you know, letter arrived. I was completely thrilled. And I sort of say a bit more about why I was so thrilled well later but I did think goodness well you know I mean I spent my 20s doing Shakespeare but as you rightly say I haven't um, done very much since and um, I I was I have been asked to do a few Shakespeare roles including Lady Macbeth but I think I feel I, I that was at the National some years ago a long time ago and I I just I became very wary of doing roles for the sake of it. Mm -hmm. Although part of me just wanted to knock them off, say, well, yes, you know, it would be so wonderful to get to the end of your working life and say, well, I played absolutely every Shakespeare heroine, you know, that I could. Mm -hmm. But I very, very much didn't, didn't feel that. I, I've always, right from the word go, or very early on, I think, wanted to make sure that if, if I did a Shakespeare play, then it was because I really believe that play spoke for the time that we were living in right now, you know, yeah. right then at yeah. the time of the production. And, and did I have something to offer that role that hadn't been done a hundred times before? And that may seem strange sort of um, requirements, but I, I just felt very strongly about that. And I think having had this amazing opportunity with the Measure for Measure that you mentioned, with um, Adrian Noble's Measure for Measure in that fantastic production when I was very young, mm. and having an opportunity to sort of crack open Isabella a bit and release her from this dramatic and literary tradition of being this sort of frigid, mm -hmm. you know, sexual hysteric or something. Mm -hmm. I really then w so wanted, and we'll talk about this later, but I so wanted to, to um, make my commitment to those roles about re-examining them in, in the light of the current day and perhaps in the light of what the women's movement has brought to bear and so on, and not just churn out another Lady M. Or, so I, I was a bit sort of picky, I think, 